Welcome to Using WordPress, creating affordable websites that search engines will love. Today in this uh, post, I'm going to be talking about the media links, pages, comments, and rating sidebar options. I'm assuming you are currently at WordPress.com and that you have a blog set up from one of the previous posts. Click on one of those right now under my dashboards. First off, I'm going to go over into the media link and click on that. You can see here you can perform multiple bulk actions, either to delete uh, these, these images if you'd like, and as well you can just by clicking on edit, you can see descriptions that I've typed in in regards to these different forms of media that I uploaded, in this case a JPEG of Elton Brown Brown. And if you click on add new, You'll be able to real easily go through and add any additional other images or files that you would like just by clicking on select, automatically uploads it, and then you can type in your title, your alternate text that would appear if the image is not available, caption, and then a description. And like I said before, search engines love content, and this is another additional area you can add some content and just click on save all changes and then those uh, files will be available for you to use in your media bar and that's basically all that's to it. Now we'll move on to the links area. You can see here I only added one additional link by clicking on add new. I can also by clicking over here on link categories not only see link categories but also create a brand new category. As you see here, just by typing in information along with a description and clicking on add category. And here is one of the categories, the only category I have set up currently. But if I did, I could perform bulk deletes on those link categories. Now if we click on add new, first off I would give my link a nice name. I would input whatever web address uh, would take me to the link. I would give a description. I would either put it in my generic blog roll category or create a new category. If we go down here in target, I almost always click on the none target. And what this, the reason why is I, it will keep the link the person clicks on from opening a brand new browser window. A lot of people don't like that. Down here, I would describe the relationship if I have one with the person I'm linking to. You would type a URL to a small image address. What this is referring to is if you would put the URL of an image here, that little image would appear next to your link. And if you type in the address of an RSS feed for the link, WordPress displays the link to the site's RSS feed. And RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. With an RSS feed, you can share the headlines from your blog by adding the RSS feed to your blog. Uh, your users can easily gain access to this information at the same location as the link. And in the blog, you can add any additional information about the link. And then you can give the link a rating if you wish. And if you go to the top right hand corner, try to zoom out, I can just click on add link and that link's automatically going to be created for me. And that's basically all there is to know about that. Down in the comments section, as I referred to earlier, this is a brand new blog I set up. If people were commenting on my articles, I could sit here and decide if I wanted to approve them and allow people to see them, mark them as spam, or delete them by just clicking in here on Move to Trash. And you can create pages on your site that do not change these are like traditional website pages. They are called static pages. And you create these pages by clicking on pages in your left toolbar. And, and if you click on add new, you're actually going to be taken to an editor that will allow you to create a new page. And I'm gonna take you through the process right now. That's how simple it is. Let's jump over into my actual blog. And let's take some content. This is just for the example, so I don't care what it looks like. Give it a title, and then paste some text right in there. 
allow comments, allow trackbacks. This intro, as long as if we go, I'm going to zoom in here, over here in the attributes section, if you leave this set as main page, this also is going to show up in your menu bar. So let's, that's all to it. You can put any information in there. You can put images, video, audio, different links to media, just like you did whenever you were doing normal posts, except this will never change. Click on publish. And it's done. Now if we jump over here to visit site, you can see intro is right there. So this is really great ways that you can create static pages that will automatically go in your menu bar. It allows people real quickly to get to whatever information that they want to. And that is basically it. That's the media link, um, the links link, the page link, and the comments link. And I'll go into the poll area at a later date. But now you are just about an expert in WordPress. Next time, we're going to cover appearance, users, tools, and settings. And then you'll know all there is to know about WordPress. Your comments are welcome. Thank you, and you have a great day.